Hey, this is Joe Begley here, and today I'm going to teach you how to efficiently merge two arrays without having duplicates. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a function. We're going to call it merge arrays, and we're going to take two arguments, array A and array B. Now, instinctually, when you go about a problem like this, you're thinking, okay, I would normally use the concat function to join two arrays, but I want to do it without duplicates. So maybe I go through all the elements in array B, I check to see if they're in an array A, and if they are there, I don't put them in, and if they aren't there, I add them. Now, this is a fine solution if you're dealing with a small number of elements. Let's say you have 100 elements. The O of N here would be O of N squared, so it would take about 10,000 passes um, for that to happen, but let's say you have a million elements in an array, which is not that uncommon when you're dealing with large data sets. Uh, you quickly get to a time complexity of O of n squared, again, which in this case um, is one trillion computations. So that's too much work for your computer. It won't be able to do it. You need to make it more efficient. So the key to making it more efficient here is going to be using an object. So let's say unique values. So we're going to say let unique values equal an empty object. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop through array A um, using the map function. We're going to say element. And we're going to say unique vals element is equal to true. We just want to map it. We don't want to count how many are in there. We could do that. We more or less just want to make sure that we know it's there. And we're going to do the same thing. Only this time we're going to do it for array B. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and return object.keys unique vowels. So let's run some test cases. We have two arrays, array A and array B. We are going to push 1 million elements into both of these arrays, all being numbers between 1 and 1,000, and we are going to merge those arrays. Now, your computer, if you have, let's say, a 2016 MacBook Pro, for example, can handle about 20 billion calculations per second. So even though a million seems like a lot, it's not that many. Um, what's challenging is that if, if you run the algorithm inefficiently, like we said earlier, so we you know, run a case where we are looping within two arrays, double looping arrays that have a million elements, you quickly get to, you know, an O of N that's equal to a trillion loops, which is just too much. Uh, you can't handle that. So, do something like this, and your computer hands, handles it pretty quickly. It's actually not that bad. So, this is how you merge two arrays efficiently without having any duplicates. It's got great time efficiency. Uh, it's got a time efficiency of O of N because we don't have any nested loops here. I think this is a great solution. Um, thank you for checking it out. Appreciate it.